Well, just it was a mental, a mental. I have never. I mean, a year ago we played a game following a 100-point output against Sam Houston. It's a very similar game, but the difference between that game and this game was the fact that um, we gave them so many easy buckets early, and then we can't buy one. I mean, you know, the ball just wouldn't go in. I mean. Uh, one of our players was two for 11, uh, you know, and, and so a lot of those were, were early on and a lot of those were in the first half. Now, he didn't intend to miss them. You know, nobody intends to miss them. Like Coach Montgomery told me one time, he said, I asked a player, hey, I didn't mean to miss it, Coach. None of them missed, meant to miss it, but what they did was they didn't mentally come in here ready to play. And because of that, we ended up putting one on the right side instead of the left side that we should have got. And the, pro, the you know what? Maybe it'll be a good thing. Maybe we can build on that and go from here and, and be successful. But it's very, very disheartening. 23 turnovers, uh, again, another byproduct of that. You're not in there mentally, you don't take care of the basketball. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just crazy things. Throw the ball out of bounds on a break. I mean, we got the ball and we just throw it away. We don't attack. We don't get it out of the goal off of rebounds. We got one time in the first half we had three guys on the other end with a guy holding the ball and we don't get the ball down. All we have to do is throw it to the goal and we would have caught it and laid it in. But we just never could, I don't know, it just never could get things going. Now, what did we do wrong? I think after we got down, we wanted it so bad that then we couldn't function. You know, and it became a mind game, a mental game, because my, you know, Nichols just really played well. They executed, they did every, had an unbelievable game, game plan. They did everything they had to do to wear, to whip us. 16-0 second half run, did you start to have visions of last year when you guys came down from down 19 down there? Yeah, I really did, and you know, but uh, difference was that we couldn't we couldn't score. We were scoring in transition, but then we couldn't couldn't consistently keep them out. But we we made a nice run. You cut it down eight minute eight points with ten minutes to go, and then you've got another situation where you're eight down with uh, a minute and 50, 48 or fifty eight to go with one of your best free throw shooters on the line, and you don't make either free throw, and the next thing you know, they're back up by thirteen. I mean, it's got to, you got to look at it that way. You got to put some some silver line on it because, I mean, it it was horrendous. I mean, you know, we just got to take care of our business and get it done. And we just it, it's just so disheartening. And, and I I've said this, you've heard me say this twice, once on the radio, one in the dressing room. Every time we get right to where this program can be, make make a milestone, get over the hump, and people in Natchitoches get excited about what's going on, we lay an egg. And that's on me as a coach. I got to figure out how, I'm that guy that's been driving the bus for 14 years. I got to figure out how to straighten that out. But it, it's just sickening, you know, to be honest with you. What can you say about the turnout tonight? Oh, it's just awesome. You know, people were here. And even when we got down and we got in the run, the people in the crowd got into it. You know, it was the demon basketball there for a few minutes that we, we know. But it wasn't for the rest, of, the rest of the night. It was just horrendous. They're going to control, try to control tempo. I mean, for whatever reason, against Oral Roberts and against Nichols, we tried to walk the ball up the floor. And, I, you know, we're not a walk the ball up the floor team. You know, so we just got to do what we got to do and prove to get better. How do you describe a night like that? Uh, sometimes the ball bounces like that sometimes. You just got to keep playing. We didn't get a lot of our shots going in on the inside like we normally do. The ball crept in and crept out for us. Uh, we played a great Nickel State team. They came in with a great game plan. Knocked down shots from the outside. Got a lot of and ones. Our hats tipped off to them. Surprised to see that the I mean, Hunter had a good game that time. He seemed to get the ball and roll in when you guys could. Yes, uh, they they just, I, I, I can't really say what was going on with the ball. Uh, maybe it wasn't focused all the way as, as they were. Uh, we didn't get the ball to go in like we wanted to, but that's just one stepping stone. We got to come out and uh, play against Southeastern Saturday. Yeah, um, it was got going too late. Obviously, uh, it was too late to get going. Uh, some of those easy layups didn't go the first half. A lot of guy guys got our heads down. We uh, kind of got pulled away from each other a little bit. The team chemistry kind of faded away. Second half, we got it going, but it was a little too late. Uh, but we just got to make a run earlier. Yes, that's what I told the guys in the locker room. Uh, 
we came down 19 before at their home. Uh, and obviously they kept that on their shoulders. They uh, remembered what we did to them and they didn't want to uh, come out here and get a loss. So I had tipped off to them uh, once again. Uh, it's just, it's just sometimes it's just not your night, you know. But we, we, we tried to keep fighting and try to get back, battle back in it, but it just wasn't enough. It all goes without saying that uh, too many turnovers are going to get you time. And when you have 23, it's almost tough about basketball. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We have to take care of the ball and do better with that. We'll work on that, though. We'll get better at that. You guys, in the second half, what did you see differently during that 16 0 run? I mean, did you get, obviously, you got a lot better looks here, a couple big dunks, but what was different that morning? Intensity. We picked up the defense and we came together. We were spread apart the first half. We came. We tried to come back together. How much did you guys draw? You know, during that run, draw from last year when you're down 19 down there, you're able to come back and win. How much did that, you know, see you guys? Well, it brought back memories, but it just wasn't enough.